I was waiting on this seat um, for three weeks because it was out of stock and the bracket from Merritt Industries came pretty quick. I got the the lap belt mount and then the side mount and the double locking slider and that ended up being more expensive than the seat but that's all right. I got it in micro suede and it's the F1X Pro. This is as close as I can get the bracket and I don't think that's safe and it's the same thing on the other side and the bracket won't go any further in uh, I don't know all right so I spoke on the phone with the people that build these and apparently the Corbo F1X Pro is not too popular of a seat because more people go for the standard width or the wide version. So this is a little wide for how narrow of a seat that is, but there are adjustability to figure the slider going in and out just a little bit. And I don't think this is gonna quite be narrow enough. So I may end up drilling an extra hole here to bring the sliders in and then that will be able to mount the seat flush instead of having a good gap right there. So I've made the sliders as narrow as it can be with the holes that come pre-drilled and it is still not quite narrow enough. It's just beyond 16 inches and that seat is closer to like 15 and three quarters or 15 and a half. I'll show the underside. So the slider was mounted here so this is the widest and the narrowest setting, and then these two were kind of in between. So it was second from the widest, and now it's the narrowest all the way around all of them. And so I guess the next thing would be to just drill a hole right next to it all the way around. I bolted this down tight so there's no false numbers from this wiggling and acting like it's more narrow than it actually is. So to get a true number, I call that 16 and a half just to be a little even and then call the seat 15 and a half. So that's an inch I need to go in. So I will drill half an inch on each of those. So I've determined that these holes are 21 60 fourths goes in there without wiggling around too much and I have this set up for half inch so I'm gonna come in here and that about half there is a little bit of adjustability in here so I think I'll be okay that it's not like a uh, machined finish pretty much and one of these is pretty sharp so if I take this it'd be like right in the middle there and just twirl it a little bit so I can get a little mark and then take a little punch. Down there. Looks to be pretty good. Make a hole so the bit has a place to go and it won't walk around. I might do that a couple times just so it's extra deep.
So I finished up marking the spots to be drilled and I just made pencil lines on the existing holes to make sure I was as centered as possible. And make my life a little bit easier. Hopefully everything will line up pretty much the way it was, just a little bit closer in. I'm gonna start with a 1 16th bit just to make sure that I get exactly in that spot. Give a little bit better of a pilot hole for an eighth inch bit. And a quarter inch next. I'd say that's pretty close to parallel with them. It might be forward just a hair, but I don't think enough to make a difference. So I'm just gonna go around and do that to all the spots. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. They're uh, pretty close to being in line, so I don't think I'm gonna have any fitment issues going back together. And should be able to get my seat in there now. Here it is all set up. It's not tightened down all the way, but it's pretty close. Let's see what the number is. Yep. It's gonna work. That's great. Now, after talking with Mark on the phone, also he told me that I definitely need to cut the um, like the bottom mount pedal stools off the seat because it's going to interfere with this and it's going to end up sitting higher than the stock seat so i know i have to do that next but i know for certain that the holes that i drilled move the side mounts in close enough that now it's going to work just to show for certainty this inside edge to inside edge is like 15 and 1 16th of an inch, call it 15 inches. So that's all the way in as far as it can go. I put the seat on there and it won't go down because the side mounts are too narrow. So that's a good thing. So all I have to do is back these off just a little bit and then, so it's not gonna be all the way to the inside. It can go up just a little bit. So I did drill it in the right spot and uh, I just want to get it on there and see if I need to cut off the front pedestals too or just the rear. So as you can tell from the profile, that bracket gives it a pretty good rake. And I had I still have the pedestals on there and then they're just sitting on the mount. So that interferes with the back going any lower. And it's right there at the third from the top slot. And then coming around to the front, can see the pedal stool in there. I have to get a piece of paper in there to be for certain, but I do not think that it's touching. Looks like it's got pretty good clearance in the front. All right, I just confirmed that the front pedal stools do not need to come off. They are okay where it's gonna end up mounted, but the rear is gonna go down just to give a little bit more extra headroom. Well, here goes nothing.
Well, that made a pretty big mess. But, uh, it's done now. <laughs> oh, boy. It was cool. There was, uh, there was wood in there. I ended up just using this, like a coarse wheel and a fine wheel to clean up where the pedestals were. You can see it, uh, came out pretty smooth. And I thought it'd be good. The tape saved me. A little bit, but you know, it's the bottom of the seat. So it should be all right. All right, got it cleaned up the rest of the way now. Here's what the uh, mounts at the bottom look like. It's not uh, not terrible. I mean, I got a little mess up there, but everything else turned out super smooth. It's nearly flush and didn't take away too much outside the box. There's step one. Hopefully this is close to where the final seating position will be. You can see it's pretty well raked. I like a more upright seating position anyway. But, so this is third from the bottom and third from the bottom or in the middle. This feels really nice. I'm gonna have a lot of confidence going into corners and stuff. I know it's gonna be a pain in the ass getting in and out, but that's half the fun. It's a race car. This is cool. And uh, I do have more goodies coming from Corbeau, but the seat was um, out of stock. I probably already said that for two weeks and then about a week to ship and then the other thing I ordered it will not be in stock until the end of June so I have the rest of this month to wait and also I couldn't find this on the um well I could I don't remember where I found it but like the the slot for the shoulder harnesses I figured out was good on these and obviously I don't know if it's going to show from there or not but it's like my shoulder's in the middle of the slot. It's not too high or too low. And um, I'll measure the, the distance in that. So if anybody else is looking at these, they know if it was like the, whatever, you don't wanna to be too high or too low if you're in an accident, compress your spine or get hurt more than what already happens. But I think this is pretty good. I think the easiest way to get this set up right is to get a ratchet and wrench in the back. Probably just get one of them. Can't quite get to the second one in there, but the ones in the back are accessible with the, uh, the eye hooks off the end. And then at the front, can't quite get that first nut because this pedestal is in the way, but the one in the back is easier to get to. So I've gotten the accessible nuts tightened down and I'm just going to take the seat off of the bracket with the Allen wrench again and tighten all of them down. So now that the seat's off again, I can get these and these and also figure out how much this needs to bend in order to fit where it was. You can see it moved in quite a bit compared to what it was. but um. Mark on the phone said this would be pretty easy to bend. It's just like three eighths tubing. So I just wrapped an old t-shirt around that just so it doesn't mar the bar or crush it or anything. And then just kind of support it with my leg and just squeeze it down like that. And uh, a little more. So now this needs to be straightened out and the same with the other side. So I'm just gonna go back to the vise, do the same thing and try to get this to be a straight line. See what it looks like now. It's a lot straighter and a lot more squared up here. And I think there's enough of a force to keep these pegs in their spots. 
to where it actually makes it slide. This peg here meets up with the hole there, and then it just kind of stays in place with those arms right there. It's not sitting in there quite as far as I would like it to. And the same on the other side. So I might redo this a little bit to make this angle a little bit wider and then put a little bit more bend back in here. So here are my updated bends. It's not really a good calculated way to go about this. Just just a guess and check. Yes. Okay. That was tricky because my finger kept getting caught under here and I couldn't get it on there, but now I don't think that's going anywhere. You can see how far it is locked in on that one. And on that one, much better. Let's see how solid that is on both of them. Feel good about that. So, 15 millimeters, we'll get the old seed out. So now I need to unbolt this buckle so it's not always having the uh, seatbelt light on and follow the harness and figure out which of these plugs needs to stay on the seat. I changed my mind on the wiring thing. Apparently it won't throw the seatbelt code. I just got in there and turned it on with, without anything in there and there wasn't a seatbelt code. So should be all right to just put this in. Um, need to get this on the side here. So I might have to bend this tab. I think I'm just going to end up having to find a bolt. I was able to get it off. just like putting the nut on there and then fitting it, but I won't be able to get it out without basically completely disassembling this seat. So I'd be better off just grabbing a bolt and just one more setback to get this seat in. Looks like I'm gonna need to drill out just a little bit on here. It goes on the rear okay. The studs match up. But in the front, I don't know how to get that shimmy in there. I'm gonna see if I can get this to lower one slot down. Give me a little bit more headroom. I'm gonna have to leave it as is for now because the hole is not, can't quite get to that other slot and it's sitting on the bolt right there. And uh, my headliner's drooping, so I feel like that might give a false sense of low headroom. Um, but I'm just gonna stick it back the way it was and then get that seat belt uh, buckle mounted up here. Got some bolts from Lowe's. It's 3 8 16 pitch and 3 quarter inches long. I'll just slide this in here. And stick this right here. Is a good spot. And but and tighten it down. I got the uh, the buckle on there. All the bolts are tightened up again on the bracket. Now I just oh. now I just need to take a file to this 
and kind of carve out just a little bit over here so it can sit on the stud all the way. All right, all that shaving and it sits down in there as it should. So now just gonna send all those bolts down and that'll be it. Got the seat in all the way, got it positioned to where I think I'll like it and then I think I'll take care of the headliner and that'll fix some of the the illusion that this is sitting up too high. But I think it looks pretty sick in here. Good stuff. To me it's not that difficult to get in and out of, but it's certainly more of a challenge than the factory seat was. And clips in there like normal and then sits here and the shoulder belt sits here it's pretty good but won't be using that for long because i got something else coming and i do have a decent amount of room right here so it's not hitting the door it's a little bit of um contact here but it's not really an issue when i was editing this i realized that i had my seat bracket on backwards so those slots should be in the front, the holes should be in the rear, I've written that. But I do love the seat, it's really awesome. And I didn't get any driving videos or anything like that, but now it's raining and my temporary tag is expired, so I don't have to wait until the second video. But I am super happy with this seat, and once I get my next package of goodies of safety equipment, I'll be able to get this seat fixed and be back in business.